our own Earth is one fantastic place with many exciting things to be learned about it. So it should go without saying that our universe is even more exciting and amazing and unexpected and scary. Here, we've compiled a list of remarkable facts about what's really going on out there in the final frontier. This is our list of most amazing things about the universe. 13. Size of our own planet While we all live on Earth, and basically everything we've ever known is based here, our planet is pretty small. Yes, our little blue ball is the largest of the terrestrial planets, which include Mercury, Mars, and Venus. In comparison to the other planets, it's very, very little. Did you know that in comparison to Jupiter, Earth is roughly 1,300 times smaller? It's not even as large as Jupiter's great red spot. If we all lived there, we wouldn't have a population problem at all. Or maybe we would multiply more, with Earth's current population hovering right around 8 billion. If we filled up Jupiter the way we filled up our own tiny planet, it would have a population of about 10.4 trillion. But that would be impossible, considering the planet is mostly gas. 12. Communication Signals You know how when astronauts are in space, they need to have a radio signal to keep in contact with us? Well, those signals aren't very strong at all. In fact, the power they exert is comparable to that of a light bulb in a refrigerator. The power they send off is so minuscule that by the time they reach Earth, they measure at about a billionth of a billionth of one watt. That's right, no super powerful, massively intense radio signals are used, nor are they needed when we need to communicate with spacecraft in outer space. But these signals take time to reach us. Radio signals from Voyager 1 take about 19 hours to get back to us, and signals from Voyager 2 take roughly 16 hours. Crazy. 11. A very light planet. If we were able to build a bathtub large enough to put planets in, most would sink or be semi-buoyant. But there's one planet that would float on the water's surface, and that planet is Saturn. This is because Saturn is the only planet in the solar system that happens to be less dense than the liquid water on Earth. Why is the density so low? Well, considering it is the second largest planet in the solar system, you'd think it would sink like a stone. But it doesn't, because it's not made of stone. Not even close. Saturn is made up of mostly gas. It has slight traces of ammonia and methane, but not much. It's mostly hydrogen and helium. The gas giant is 94% hydrogen and 6% helium. And because of this, it would act like one big rubber ducky on the surface of Earth water in a supermassive bathtub. 10. Super fast. Our Earth is always in motion. Whether you consider its own rotation or how it travels around the sun, Earth moves at about 67 miles per hour as it makes its revolution, which sounds almost unbelievably fast, right? Guess what? Mercury, the planet named for its super-fast messenger god of the Romans, travels at approximately 107,000 miles per hour as it zips around the sun. That's a whole 40,000 miles per hour faster than our planet. Considering a planet's year is determined by how long it takes to complete a revolution around the sun, it only takes 88 Earth days for Mercury to complete one of its years. If we traveled that fast, we'd probably be thrown and held against the ground like one of those crazy carnival rides. 9. Ceres This cool little ball of space rock is found dwelling within the asteroid belt located between Mars and Jupiter. It's the largest of all the bodies within the belt and makes up about a third of all the mass in the belt itself. But where it is the largest in one category, it's the smallest in another. Ceres is considered a dwarf planet, and it's the dwarfiest of the dwarfy. Eris, Pluto, Mackie Mackie, and Haumea are also dwarf planets, and Ceres comes in last in terms of overall mass and size. However, Ceres is the only of the five dwarf planets in our solar system that can call the asteroid belt its home which makes it unique and special compared to the other two. 8. Wind Speeds If you're an average human, you tend to get a little bothered by the wind. Even something as slight as a 5 mile per hour wind is enough to throw off your day and make you wish you'd never gotten ready in the first place. Daily wind speeds in the United States typically fluctuate just a little, between 6 and 12 miles per hour. And for something to be classified a hurricane, there needs to be sustained winds of 74 miles per hour for over a minute. The fastest wind speed ever recorded on planet Earth was 231 miles per hour at the Mount Washington Observatory. But even this doesn't come close to the fastest in our solar system. Neptune has massive, swirling storms that could literally swallow the Earth whole. The wind speeds on the planet often reach upwards of 1600 miles per hour. That's what the great dark spots on the planet's surface are. 
massive, windy storms. Take a moment to process all of that. 7. Lots of asteroids We can all be in agreement here. There are lots and lots of asteroids out there. In our solar system alone, there's enough asteroids to make up a giant asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. But did you know, even if we could combine all the asteroids together, their mass would still be less than 10% of the mass of our moon? Despite being nearly uncountable amounts of the space rocks, they wouldn't add up to be very big in one large mass, and our moon is pretty small in comparison to the planets. 6. Weird Planet Let's talk about Venus for just a second, shall we? Our days are measured out at 24 hours long, and our years last for 365 days, right? Well, it takes about 243 Earth days just for Venus to make one full rotation. Planets rotate at different speeds, and a full rotation is what makes a day on any given planet. And since a year on a planet is calculated by how long it takes said planet to make a full rotation around the Sun, Venus is a little different. One Venus year, or one complete revolution around the Sun, takes just 225 Earth days. This means that Venus's days are longer than its years. Can you imagine what things would be like if that were the case on Earth? 5. Gravity We all know that we have lived with the forces of gravity bearing down on us from the moment of our conception until now. That is unless you're an astronaut or something. But in outer space, there is no gravity. There is on other planets, and it may be stronger or weaker depending on which planet you're on. Take Mars for example. If you were to travel to Mars, chances are you'd be able to jump much higher than you can here. The reason for that is because Mars' gravitational pull is approximately a third of that on Earth. If this were Star Wars, every planet you'd visit would have a different gravity, thus the effect of it would be different. On some planets, we'd be able to jump onto buildings. On others, we probably wouldn't be able to move. The Moon's gravity is about one-sixth of Earth's, which is why when you see footage from previous NASA missions, the astronauts sort of bounce around. Crazy cool stuff. 4. Gigantic Canyon When you think of a massive canyon, what do you think of? The Grand Canyon? The Yarlug Songpo Grand Canyon? Well, there's a canyon on Mars, called Valles Marineris, that measures more than 3,000 miles long. Now, for reference, the Grand Canyon runs for just 277 miles, which is still huge, and the Yarlung Songpo Grand Canyon measures 150 miles in length. That means that this one giant canyon on the surface of Mars is about 10.3 times as long as the Grand Canyon and 20 times the size of Yarlung. The canyon is believed to be a very large tectonic crack and that it's been widened over time by erosion. It's also only 2,441 miles from New York to California, which just goes to show you that the Valles Marineras is absolutely, incredibly enormous. 3. Holy Hotness Global warming is and has been a significant concern on our planet for some time now, with temperatures steadily rising and our ice caps melting. But that's all stuff that we're sure you already know. The average temperature here on Earth in 2013 was 58.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Death Valley in California is known for extreme temperatures, but did you know that during its hottest month, July, high temperatures average just 116 degrees Fahrenheit? That's nothing compared to places like Mercury or Venus. Temperatures on the day side of Mercury average about 800 degrees Fahrenheit on the daily. Average temperatures on Venus, the next closest planet to the Sun, are about 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Adversely, Mars' average temperature comes in right around minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit. So we better count ourselves lucky. We could be on Mercury, Venus, or Mars. 2. Some skatable ice. Whether you figure skate, play ice hockey, or just enjoy going to skate around from time to time, you may be interested in hearing about a place in our solar system where ice skating would be, well, incredible. One of Jupiter's four biggest moons, Europa, is basically an ice world, with its entire surface covered, including some areas where the ice is nice and smooth. Plus, any kind of jumping while you were skating would allow you to do things you never could on the ice on Earth. A simple one-foot-high jump on Earth would carry you 7.3 feet high on Europa. Something a little more daring, like, say, a three-foot-high jump, would take you soaring a whopping 22 feet or higher on the little ice ball. Can you imagine the Olympic competitions that would be going down somewhere like that? Question. We've seen some truly incredible things that go down in our universe already, and we have one more to go. First though, we'd like to ask you, what's the most interesting and exciting thing you've heard about it? Have we left anything out that you think we should have mentioned? Let us know down in the comments below. 1. 
the coldest of the cold. Alright, we already took a look at some of the hotter places that dwell within our own solar system. Now it's time to take a look at the coldest. There's one de facto coldest place in all the land, and it just so happens to be our Earth's tiny little buddy known as the Moon. The permanently shadowed crater floors on our Moon's south pole are known to be some pretty cold places, possibly colder than Pluto even. Being in a permanent shadow means that these areas never see the Sun, and you can imagine the shade in space is much colder than the shade here on Earth. Temperature in the daytime in these areas are thought never to go above minus 397 degrees Fahrenheit. And, as of now, it looks as though that's the coldest temperature in the entire universe. Let's be thankful we have an atmosphere. If this video blew your mind, do us a huge favor and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on our logo right here so that you never miss out on any of our uploads. And check out this next video we're sure you're going to love.